Good morning, everyone. Wow, it is such a cold morning here. <sighs> My hands are freezing, but this fire and a warm cup of coffee is like such a cozy feeling. Oh, feels like it all of a sudden just got really cold really quickly. But the cold, it's honestly nice. It's a good reminder for us to just like slow down and take our time with things. And I feel like I constantly need that reminder. So lately I've been working more on my embroidery and I thought it would be fun to sew a little apron and put some embroidered pockets onto it. Last winter when we were visiting Logan's grandma, she had a bunch of cute little things she embroidered and it really inspired me to do more embroidery. What I like about embroidery is you can kind of take it with you anywhere you go. All you need is some fabric and one of those small little hoop things and you are good to go. I like how this apron turned out. I don't have any short aprons like this. It's nice to have something a little bit more lightweight. So 
Thank you so much to Jackery for sponsoring this video. If you're thinking of going on an adventure in the snow or in the sun, having a Jackery is the best way to have power in any off-grid situation. This winter in a snowstorm, I went camping and using my 1500 watt solar generator, I was able to power a little portable heater and stay warm all night in my tent. There's so many versatile ways to use the Jackery. I always bring it camping so I can have power while in the forest or on the road. Until October 11th, Jackery is offering up to 40% off their Amazon store as well as the Jackery official website. Also be sure to follow Jackery on Facebook and YouTube for their live event on October 10th to win gifts up to $50,000. Thank you again so much to Jackery for sponsoring this video. So I've been making this coffee cake lately with my sourdough discard. I didn't even realize until recently how amazing the discard is. If you have a very well-fed active starter, then the discard will actually act as a leavening agent and will make things rise so much. It also kind of makes the consistency a lot spongier and fluffy. Our ancestors were fermenting so much of their food, evidence of a fermented alcoholic beverage made from fruit, honey, and rice was actually found in Neolithic China, dating back to 7000 to 6000 BCE, which is so cool. I feel like our bodies were designed to have so much more fermented food than what is present in our Western diet. I like to let this pumpkin soup cook over very low heat for like three to four hours. That sounds like a very long time, but I feel like with pumpkin soup, especially if you leave the skin on, which I do, a lot of people don't realize you can actually eat pumpkin skin. Um, I just cook it into the soup and then I use my immersion blender to blend it up and make it creamy. And yeah, we had this tonight with fresh bread that I had cooked earlier that day and it was so yummy. Oh my gosh. It's around 5.30 right now and the sky is just starting to get dark, which is crazy how the seasons are changing. And I just wanna invite you guys to take a breath with me. Just a long, deep breath in your nose and then exhale it out your mouth. So. Just kind of start to tune into how your body's feeling. I feel like right now, since the seasons are changing and everything is changing so much in the external world, it's a really good time to make changes and to just like grow from the inside. And just like really ask yourself, put your hands on your heart and really ask yourself how you're feeling right now in this moment, how your body feels physically, how your heart feels, and just, yeah, just really be honest with yourself. If I sit here and really tune into myself, right now I'm feeling pretty tired. I'm longing for like a really deep rest. 
I feel like last winter I was really longing for a rest and I didn't really give it to myself. If I think back on last winter, I was working a ton and we were traveling and just kind of doing a lot and then I kind of just went straight into the spring season which was also a really busy season for me so Right now, I'm just feeling really called to just having a really deep rest in this next season. And for me, rest means not only like physical rest, but mental rest as well. I feel like in our daily life, we are bombarded constantly with stimulation and we rarely give ourselves the time to just kind of sit without any distraction. Like if I think about my life, I really am truly doing things constantly. And that wears out our mind. Over time, we get tired, we get anxious, we get burnt out. And if you're experiencing any of that, it's probably because we haven't given ourselves the time to truly rest our mind. I feel like if I'm not being super intentional with things, I can sometimes slip into the habit of just like when I'm bored or have some time in between things, I'll just like look at my phone. And that is a habit I'm going to be letting go of for the winter. Last week, I turned my phone off and just like experienced an entire week, just having not really any distractions, not really much technology in my life. And wow, that was like, it was almost like the moment I turned my phone off, I felt this like instant calm. If you have the ability to do that, like if your job doesn't require you to be on your phone, I would highly recommend just like starting off this fall winter season with taking a break from your phone, it can be one of the most life-changing experiences. And yeah, just being mindful of like allowing ourselves to really have the time to just sit with ourselves. That is when we recharge. That is when we build the energy back up in our bodies so that we can go out into the world feeling 100%, giving our energy fully to people and to the things we're doing and to the creative things that we're doing. And we need to be able to go inward and turn things off and sit with ourselves in order to be our highest self, in order to be the best version of ourselves. So. I invite you guys to sit down and maybe just like breathe for five minutes and then write down how you're feeling, you know, and then write down maybe your intentions for this next season of your life. It's a super good time to start new habits when everything is changing outside, it's just really a lot easier for us to change as well. I really hope you guys are having a really beautiful week and Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all next week, okay? Bye-bye.